guys and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would just share with you guys some meals I've been making during lockdown. Now I am pescatarian so this specific meal video will be focusing on pescatarian meals but I am planning to do a veggie one as well soon in the future so if you like videos like this please do hit the subscribe button. As well as this, I'm not trying to pass off any of these recipes as being my own. I get all my recipes from places like BBC Good Food and I have some recipe books. I do kind of make some alternations and changes. So I will try and link all the recipes I carry in the description if they are from websites. So the first video that I'm gonna show you guys is actually a smoked salmon and lemon risotto. So I'm now gonna insert the video of me making it and I hope you enjoy. So I'm just gonna talk you through everything that you will need to make the smoked salmon and lemon risotto. First, you need some risotto rice. This is actually paella rice because I couldn't find risotto rice anywhere, but it'll pretty much do the same job. So make sure you have some of that. Then you need some light mascarpone. You also need some smoked salmon. I've just got smoked salmon trimmings because they're cheaper and they do the job to mix in quite nicely. You will need some pepper to put on at the end. You will need some olive oil, a lemon, some vegetable stock, this is just some parsley. You also need some rocket to put on at the end. This is kind of optional, you could do it without this. And then you'll also need an onion. I've just got this bag of frozen onion here. You're also going to need one clove of garlic. So now I'm just dissolving one stock cube into 500 ml of water. You will need to do this three times, but I only have two jugs. And then once I've done this, I'm just going to chop up one clove of garlic into tiny pieces. So now I'm just going ahead and weighing out 85 grams of the mascarpone. I then weigh out 350 grams of risotto rice. This was way too much for two people. So if you will use this recipe, I would say about 275 would be fine. I then zest one lemon and cut it in half, ready to put the juice over the risotto later. So now I just go ahead and put two tablespoons of olive oil into a pan. I heat this up and then I add in an onion and fry it for about five minutes. and stir this continually for about two minutes. So once I've stirred this for two minutes, I just go ahead and pour in 500 ml of the stock. I then stir this occasionally and bring the pan to a simmer to allow the stock to dissolve. Once this is all dissolved, I go ahead and pour in another 500 ml of the stock and let this dissolve. Now the secret here is that you want to keep your pan on a low enough heat so it doesn't burn, but so that it's still able to simmer. So finally, I'm going to add the last 500 ml of stock. Now, as you will later see, this actually wasn't enough and I did have to add in some water. So if you do have to do that, don't worry. Just add as much water in as you need so that the risotto is ready. So once risotto is creamy and no longer hard, it's time to add in your ingredients. So I'm adding the mascarpone, the smoked salmon, I'm going to do one teaspoon of the parsley. I'm then going to add in the lemon zest and some lemon juice. And finally, some black pepper. Once you've mixed everything in, it will look like this. I then plate it up, add some rocket around the side and some smoked salmon to decorate and there you so have the it. The next meal I have for you guys is a pad thai. This is a really easy and quick meal that actually kind of looks fancy, but trust me, it's so, so easy to make. If you want to find out how I make a quick and easy pad thai, then keep watching. 
Okay, so I'm going to talk you through everything you need for the pad thai. You're obviously going to need some prawns, two limes, two eggs, a clove of garlic, or just however many you want, however much garlic you like in things, some peanuts, some rice noodles, some ginger. I'm just using some ground ginger, but you can use fresh, obviously. Some light soy sauce, some oyster sauce, some kind of oil. I've got olive oil, but you can use a vegetable, some sugar, and some salt. Finally, you're going to need some spring onions. First, I just cracked two eggs into a jug and whisk them up. I then chopped one lime in half to use one half in the sauce that I'm going to go on and make. And then another lime I chopped into four slices to add to the dish at the end. I'm then just going to go ahead and chop up the garlic into small pieces. So next, I just cut up some spring onion into small slices. You can add as much or as little as you want, depending on personal taste. After I've done this, I begin the sauce. You need two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, and a squeeze of half a lime, and then stir it together. the egg into and then cook the egg on each side for about two minutes and then you will watch me horrendously try and flip it over. Next you just want to chop up the egg into tiny pieces, don't worry about making this neat. After this I just fill a pan with boiling water ready for the noodles to go into. So in the same pan as the egg, I just add a dash of olive oil, the spring onions, the garlic, and then one teaspoon of ginger. And then just cook this lightly for about a minute. So once that's all mixed in, I'm just going to add the prawns in. And I cook these for about three to five minutes because they are already cooked, so you're just basically heating them up. I then just stir in the sauce that was made earlier and mix this in for about a minute. When the noodles are ready and drained, I just pour them in and mix this all together. So finally, I'm just going to add a tablespoon of peanuts and then add the egg back in and mix this together. forgot to take a video of the finished dish but this is what it looked like not the prettiest dish ever but it is really tasty. so the final meal that i have is a prawn thai curry again this is super easy super quick to make and what i do with this is i bulk make loads of it and then freeze them so i'm now going to start the clip of me making my prawn thai curry Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through everything you need for the prawn thai curry. I'm aware this looks like a lot and a lot of these things are optional, so don't panic if you don't have a lot of them to hand. So you are going to need some chopped tomatoes, you're going to need some prawns. I am putting in a bunch of veggies because I have them left over and curries are great things to just chop vegetables into. So I've just got a yellow pepper, green pepper, a carrot, a clove of garlic. Again, this is optional, you don't need it. You do need some coconut cream and you do need red thai curry paste. However, the mango chutney that I'm going to put in, the turmeric and the parsley are all optional. The ginger, again, optional, but it does give a bit of extra taste to it. And then you need an onion, and I've got my freezer onions here. So first, I'm just going to grate the carrot. I then end up chopping up the peppers and chopping the garlic into little pieces. including the garlic into it. And then just gonna add two teaspoons of ginger followed by one teaspoon of turmeric. this all together. 
there for about five minutes. I just then add three teaspoons of curry paste and mix this for a further two minutes. And then just go ahead and add 800 grams of chopped tomatoes followed by 150 grams of coconut cream and then mix this all together and bring it to a boil. to my curries just to give it a kind of subtle sweetness about it and then I will also add one teaspoon of salt and mix this in. So because I was making this meal in bulk I just go ahead and put some into some freezer containers before then go back to the hob and add some prawns to the portion that I was actually going to eat. So this is the finished curry, I added a tiny bit of parsley on the top just for decoration. As you can see it is really really quick and easy to make and it is really really yummy. So that is my three quick and easy pescatarian meals and if you have any other meal ideas please do leave me a comment because I am loving 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 making new things at the minute. And if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye!